one, one, two, three. Okay, um, video response for um, <coughs> the Linda Narouche uh, interview with Alex Jones there. Um, pretty exciting stuff. I've um, stayed in on a Saturday night, as I do, and just got to the um, part five of five video and watched the whole thing. And um, <coughs> don't take it personally. I've got more to agree with than disagree with, so I'm just going to go to the points that I disagree with. Um, <clears throat> now, Obama, you see, I have very consciously avoided praising Obama over George Bush by saying, well, nothing's blown up while Obama was president, because there is a hugely powerful undertow um, where I will be contradicted, and therefore... And if I did that, Obama would be therefore forced into a terrible false flag atrocity. So I haven't done it. I just kept quiet about it. Whether he's got depressed or not is not neither here nor there. Um, <clears throat> I think Obama has a secret related to Queen Anne. You see, Queen Anne was the last of the Stuarts, although they're not really called the Stuarts in the history books. Okay, The, the Stuarts is James I to James the second and then the invasion of William of Orange to overthrow the Pro uh, the Catholics and bring in the Protestants okay but then after William of Orange and his wife Mary had passed away James the second's daughter Queen Anne was the queen and um, she had a large family according to the history books at least the majority of history books um, no heirs, uh, but she had a, a big family, and King George I of Hanover threw the Queen Anne family out on the street, and um, they've lived hounded and wretched lives, some of them. Diarrhea, you know, every time you go out, someone comes in and sprays germ warfare around your kitchen. I've, I've seen relatives of mine descended from Queen Anne, fat, pale-skinned, bellies hanging down over over their thighs because of Campylobacter, it's a chicken bacteria. But if you infect someone with it deliberately for years on end, and I mean years now, decades, eventually they give in and their belly starts hanging down. It's a horrible thing. But um, there are relatives of mine I've seen with such afflictions, you know. Um, <clears throat> of course, Barack Obama might be a descendant of Queen Anne. I'm thinking about that snub in Buckingham Palace. They they put it on the internet, you know. He was making his speech, This England, and they started the national anthem before he'd finished, and then the Queen told him, No toast, the anthem's already started. And that was a snub. Okay, now the Princess Vicky people, Queen Victoria's eldest daughter, always claim the throne, saying, look, the rest of them, they're adopted surrogates of a Romanian gypsy mother. They're not descended from Queen Victoria. That is why Edward VII, unhappy about the womb issue, did the Jack the Ripper killings. They're not a Gulf bloodline. David Icke is wrong. Um, they're an Austro-Hungarian bloodline. The... Um, the Hohelzerong, whatever they're called. You know, they're not the Gelf. The Gelf is the Hanover. I'm a, a Gelf bloodline man. I've got the little ears and the big chin. Hmm. So, um, from William the Fourth and Queen Adelaide, you see, they had their baby put up the Tower of London. So, uh, yeah. Nuclear Armageddon. You see, the, the the truth of it is, behind that, is the conspiracy is more international already than, than you think. And um, it's in the Bible, okay? The, the Lord, um, not many people left by the time the Lord is finished in Assyria. Okay, so for those of you who know, it goes by Holy Scripture. And really, since uh, since I was very young, you know, I've been under a sort of semi-protectorate of the 
the Black Pope. Okay, but he's, he retired when he was 82 anyway, but um, that is largely due to the, um, the Jacobite bloodline, not the Queen Anne one or the William the Fourth one. But uh, there it is. It's it's the Jacobite bloodline, which is m more direct in Texas these days than it, than it is in um, in Britain. Hmm. So, um, well, it all goes according to holy scriptures. You see, I used to have a great deal of power because of Tony Blair being the false prophet. So you see, if I get an idea, I'd invade Kosovo, and then it get done. You see, because Tony Blair can copy it. But these days, it's all about contradict everything I say, so that they can denounce me as a liar. It's this gypsy paedophile, Harry Rolf in Buckingham Palace. You know, the one that's uh, not letting my letting agents change the tap and fix the radiator that they broke using unlawful entry and change the locks to stop the German warfare terrorists coming in every time I go out. But it's all done with Holy Scripture, you see. If Jesus Christ can be crucified according to Holy Scripture, then when I write to the keepers of the Crown Estate and tell them, pay my bond money to me, um, and they tell me, piss off, then the city of sin sides with the man of sin, Prince Charles. i never been married, okay? They faked this wedding to... Magog, they got her pregnant by Gog, the homosexual heroin addict. I had already left for Ireland by the time they put the wedding on TV. It's a fake. Okay, um, we're talking back in 2005. But the city of sin sides with the man of sin and is, is destroyed. <coughs> so there's your nuclear Armageddon. It starts with the destruction of the capital city of England. Okay, according to Holy Scripture. And that's the way it must be done, like Christ died. There is no choice in this matter. And the New World Order is, is a priestcraft, okay? I'm, I've got my basic needs met, but I'm oppressed and afflicted because I'm not free from crime. Freemasons want freedom to kill, to steal, to commit adultery, to accuse falsely. Okay, you don't have that freedom in the New World Order. That is sin. The wages of sin is death. Everyone that performs those activities is put to death. Okay, but what you do have is the freedom from being harmed by the, uh, those activities. You've got freedom from having your things stolen. You've got freedom from being murdered. You've got freedom from being accused falsely. Okay? Now, that's, that's real freedom, you see. That's, that's the, the Christian freedom sought after. And the New World Order is run through priestcraft. So you're greedy, corrupt, sort of bond villains, you know, with their... Wall Street and all that. I mean, the city of London has probably got less than a month to exist on the face of the earth for a start, so I wouldn't worry too much about all of that, because the New World Order rises like a phoenix from the ashes of the death of the old New World Order, the rancid, corrupt, deceitful, materialistic old British Empire. But then... We're not going to be ruled by China. We're not, we're not going to be ruled by the morally unfit. We're going to be ruled by those concerned with the righteous truth. And um, it's done through priestcraft, not statecraft. Okay, because when you follow the God of truth, you have no leader except the truth. Okay, but when you follow the God of lies, you have no destiny except for death because that is the wages of your sin. So the New World Order is coming. It's good news. <laughs>